good morning it's saturday and i just washed my hair in the kitchen sink i just want to hop on quickly and show you this shampoo that i just used it's the ors hair repair with coconut oil and baobab invigorating sulfate free shampoo a few years ago when i went natural and i cut all my hair off i stopped using um sulfate shampoo and I mean, it was fine, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. I have seborrheic dermatitis, which means that the oil on my scalp builds up quite quickly and then it creates, like, flake. We all have it in some capacity. My scalp doesn't get, like, super flaky and that I have tons of white dandruff, but it just really builds up quite thick on my scalp and that's when I know I need to wash my hair. I basically picked this up because it said for dry, damaged hair and scalp and you can use it on relaxed and natural hair. It's actually really good. I have to wash my hair in sections because it's so thick and I do need to relax my hair. As you can see, my roots are really curly. Now there's a fly in here. I know that with sulfate-based shampoos, I think traditionally it was just like a thing to add suds. It didn't necessarily do anything good or bad. Whatever, there's so many arguments about this, I can't bother to go into it right now. I noticed that my hair didn't feel as dry or stripped before I put the conditioner on. So once I actually washed everything, like did my um, shampoo and conditioning routine, my hair felt really, really soft still. So I really like this and it was like £2.50 or something. So I highly recommend this shampoo. I'm now gonna get ready gonna shower get rid of this fucking oh, it fly. just got really overcast outside and i don't think it's gonna rain but i'm not sure what do we know about this country at this point i mean i'm really hot so i just got out of the shower but just quickly wanted to show you my outfit i have this t-shirt from dave's new york not dqm if you're familiar with dqm dave's is a hardware store i have this leather a-line skirt from edwin i don't know if anyone has this actually it might just be no this is from production actually and then my pink timberland deck shoes not really scruffy I kind of like them like that. I need to get going because I have to go buy the hair en route to get the braids. So I'll touch base with you when I'm in the salon. Focus. 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 What do you reckon? Do we love? Just got my hair done at Simply Gorgeous in Kilburn. I'm so happy. Mostly because I won't have to fuck around doing it every day. Um, a really young girl called Amara did it. She's 21 from Nigeria. She is off uni for the summer she's studying in swansea and she's just found a summer job doing hair she was so cute and just so nice and she just did a really good job and i'm in love with my heart i didn't want the bun too full which it's not it's just perfect shout out to my struggle edges so hungry i'm gonna go to tesco to buy some gnocchi and some mozzarella and some cherry tomatoes because my friend jen just posted a very yummy looking baked gnocchi Focus! Uh, a very yummy baked gnocchi dish on her Instagram and I love gnocchi and baking it is actually uh, way more convenient than doing anything else. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna clean the bathroom, then I probably should start packing my day, but I probably won't do that. Maybe I'll do some laundry. Cool. Okay, please ignore how messy everything is right now but I just wanted to show you this basically I have a coffee grinder that I never use for coffee because we always buy ground coffee and I use it to grind up herbs and spices maybe three four months I buy the peppercorns and then grind them in here but I've done the same with like cardamom um, cumin I've made spice mixes I definitely advise getting one of these and I just keep this small Tupperware and only ever put ground pepper in it It's Sunday. I don't know what the time is. I think around two. So I figured I better start packing because I leave for New York on Thursday. I'm staying at my parents' house on Wednesday because we're flying from Heathrow. And yeah, I just don't have my shit together. This fits on the plane. One of the wheels is broken because I'm not gonna get into it, that's why. Um, it makes me furious every time I think about it. So I'll be there Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. I'm gonna start chucking things in here and then I'll check in with you and let you know what I've packed. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out of here for a little while but then I just think about moving and I look my house is still in situ like I haven't packed anything I haven't packed anything haven't packed anything I'm not ready to move house. After my battery died I didn't do very much. I started to watch the tour thinking about like either packing my suitcase or packing up the house and it was making me very anxious. So I decided to just not do anything. Calm down. 
did my Esther, checked my hotel, checked the flight. Mercury is retrograde. I'm still a bit like raspy and it's driving me insane. And I still get those moments of tightness where I have to go and I don't like this. This is where I'm at. I've got heels on because I just want to make sure that these are the shoes that I want to wear with my outfit. They're very comfortable and I mean what other option do I have? I have these but I wore them last week to a wedding and they're not very comfortable. What is that? That's disgusting. These are my mum's. Packing them just so that I can give them back to her. I've got like one pair of jeans even though I probably won't wear jeans because it's literally going to be 33 degrees. This is my wedding outfit which I'm leaving in here and you'll see it when I wear it. I've got these Uniqlo cute shorts. These are really handy. I've got them in this black colour and are really nice khaki. I've got one long sleeve tee here. Like one really cute um, broidery top and then another floral top. Got my swimsuit and my washcloth and face linen. Days I probably won't even wear all of this. Got my Musier blouse, which I love, can dress up or down. Um, my leather Edwin skirt, which I wear quite a lot, especially in summer. And this Rails jumpsuit. The only thing I probably add in there is um, a plain white t-shirt, and that is it. I think I am gonna wear these. I've not worn them out yet, so I'm gonna give them a go. Oh shit, I need to pack the wedding present. I've got my Kindle with books on it. So all I need to do is pack my makeup and skincare. And that's it. But I don't think I'm going to do much shopping this trip. I don't really shop anymore when I go to New York. Pound isn't as strong as it needs to be. It's still really light out and it's after 8 I think. So I'm just going to chill. Maybe watch more Tour de France highlights. Going to jump in the shower at some point as well. Haven't it? What the fuck is going on? I had a rubbish day. But it's okay. Actually, I didn't have a rubbish day. I had a challenging day. I'm changing my attitude and always trying to, like, flip things in a positive way. But I actually had a positive day today. I went to the dental hospital this morning. My lips are so dry. Because I am on a waiting list for dental implants. I waited four years for this appointment <laughs> and had to follow up um, to the actual... I don't know who was outside my house. I waited four years for the appointment basically and had to contact the doctor directly because I wasn't getting any response from generic patient emails. The NHS is amazing by the way, I will say this, but this just goes to show how overworked they are. And basically, I have missing teeth. Um, if you notice, then you notice. If you don't, then you don't. I hate it. And so, I was approved for dental implants about five years ago. And today, I had the moulds fitted for my dental implants. So they took moulds of my mouth and then what they'll do is they're going to take invite me back for x-rays and then after the x-rays they'll see where they need to put the screws and if they need to do bone grafts which I've been advised that they probably will and then after that I get the screws put in and then I wait two to three months for the bone to fuse to the screw and then they fit the teeth I raised another interesting question is that my teeth have moved since I've been on this waiting list for so long and I asked the dentist how best to fix it like are we is that something that they're going to address or are they just going to put new teeth in my mouth and then I have crooked teeth doesn't make any sense he advised braces I wore braces from the age of 15 to 18 and back then I did wear my retainer but it only for like a year maybe even six months they weren't the permanent retainers that you get now where they like glue wire to the back of your teeth they weren't um kind of nighttime invisalign style retainers they were clunky you're lisping it was so disgusting not attractive not anything and i probably should have worn them for the rest of my life but i didn't and now my teeth have moved again and they're crooked since losing their baby teeth he's going to speak to the doctor about that and see what they can do there I might not get them approved on the NHS, but I'm putting it out there that it's going to be approved. That's me blowing it out there into the ether. So actually today was a good day, but I just had a bit of a rough afternoon and that happens. It's normal and it's fine because we're putting our best foot forward. I came home and I had a little lay down. Whenever I feel stressed or anxious, I just need to lay down. And I had numerous moments of that today. And I just needed to lay down, but I couldn't because I was at work. So then I just cycled home, which is a good way for me to like get pent up energy out. And then I lay down for like 10 minutes. John's coming back from his holiday today. I'm going to go 
like an eye drop in to try and get rid of whatever the hell is in my eye. Hello from my parents' house. My mum's actually kind of put me to shame with the packing. I thought she'd be impossible, but she's done really well. And I think I need to edit some stuff out here. I'm so tired, it's just after 11. I have to be up at 7.30 and we're gonna take the bus to the airport. Look at my dad's garden. Potatoes, a biscuit, some oats, and coffee. <coughs> Protein rich and raspberries. Try this. I'm gonna go and put some in my pocket. So good. <laughs> 